Hey there, it's Diane Banks, voice actress, radio personality in Chicago, asking you to please subscribe if you haven't yet, and ask your friends to subscribe too. Um, I would really appreciate that. And also take a peek at some of my other videos if you haven't had a chance yet. I have over 150 waiting for you. So let's take a look at some of your comments, your great comments, before we get to today's topic. And please keep leaving the comments. I love them. First comment comes from my video, 12 Hidden Mickeys in Disney Movies. Shea Butter Girl says, that's not Mickey Shadow. Love the cute little smileys. And I love that screen name, Shea Butter Girl. Very cute. Uh, and then the next three comments are from my most recent video, uh, Easter Eggs to Look For in the Good Dinosaur. Thomas Beats says, thanks for the upload. You're very welcome. Cupcake Sparkle says, please consider a little mix in your next lookalike video. I don't think they get enough praise in America. Um, and I also love this video. Thanks very much. D Star Corley says, the facts about the Pixar ball I didn't know a lot about. Uh, this movie as a whole is already an interesting concept in itself. It asks the question, could humans have possibly walked the Earth with the dinos if the asteroid hadn't taken them out? Looks like this movie will do well, which I don't expect anything less from Pixar. Great comment. Thanks very much for sharing. Keep those comments coming. And yes, subscribe. <laughs> All right, on to today's topic. I thought this was a really fun one. Very creative from the folks at Oh My Disney. Things you only notice when you watch Beauty and the Beast for the hundredth time. Let's get to it. Everything going on in the stained glass window. Now, some of the things they point out here are the two dogs who both have spiked collars for whatever reason, and that they're the only two in the painting staring directly at the prince. Lots of other things we could look at here, like what kind of blossoms are going on here and such. Um, but let's go on to our next one, which is the hungry cat. I love this. There's a cat dangling off the fish that we see here trying to get um, his eats because he's starving. Now, there's other things going on here. We'll take a look at the video, too, in a second. But I wanted to point out um, also this little bear here looks like Winnie the Pooh, doesn't it? A little stuffed animal. And I'm sure there's more things. I'd love you to leave some in the comments that you find. But here's some other things that I found. Um, in doing a still here, I found this little puppy in this cart. And we'll look at him more in a second moving. But doesn't he look like one of the puppies from 101 Dalmatians? Very much so. So let's take a look at a little of this here. Okay, and then here we see the kitty that they were talking about dangling onto the fish. We also see a dog going after the uh, hot dogs or sausages or whatever these are here. And then there's the little poo they're talking about. Some grapes going by here. And then we're on to the next part. But I did think that little puppy in the cart was super cute. Let's see, now I've gone back too far. Uh, here we go again. Oh, I already missed him. But, well, we saw him. You saw him when I had it still. He just looked so much like... There he is, the little puppy from 101 Dalmatians. Oh, and there's a big pink cake. There's lots of things. So let me know what you find, too, um, in this scene. There's so much to look at there. Belle's dried flowers. This is a cute thing that I didn't notice. Maybe you did, but she has dried flowers in the ceiling of her cute little home. Uh, I'm sure Gaston could care less because he's all about him. But that's a nice little thing that they pointed out to us. Beast definitely did not decorate this room. Check out the room with the fireplace. I didn't notice this, did you? Very cool of them to point out the floral design. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, the floral design on the chair here. <laughs> Look at that with the beast sitting in it. And then these little hearts on the fireplace. Now, what do you think? Did Mrs. Potts have something to do with this? Uh, a woman painting here and some flowers. Yeah, uh, definitely has a woman's touch. So it would be interesting to, to think more about that and anything else that you notice there. But I really like that, especially the flower pattern on the chair. Uh, oh, yeah, this is a good one. Um, in this scene with Cogsworth and Lumiere and Mrs. Potts, we've got a beautiful painting in the background, the girl with the pearl earring. And um, they give you a little peek of that, the beautiful Vermeer painting but I got a close-up here for us to take a better look so you can see here the the turban going down the coloring of the dress and there's her earring what a beautiful painting that is so how nice we get a little art history when we watch a Disney movie now here there's another painting we're going to talk about quickly this is behind Lumiere in this scene 
But uh, as we do a close up, you can see, ta da! There it is. Behind him, it is The Laughing Cavalier by Franz Halls, which, you know, we're, again, we're getting a little art history education. There's a nice close up. You can see there's the hat, his mustache, the frilly collar. Wow, they really used to go all out with costume back then, didn't they? I always wonder if they were really super warm <laughs> from all the clothes that they wore. But there we see it in the background. Very cool. Love, love. So point out more if you know in the comments. Belle and the Beast dinner menu. I love this. Looks like the meal is entirely made up of cakes, pies, and jelly. If we look at this table, indeed, there's not much going on there besides treats. We've got Lumiere here, some pie. It looks like cake, another cake. Lots of beverages, but it uh, doesn't look like much food <laughs> except for pastries. And then we've got, um, which I thought was interesting, another close-up here on Belle. And lo and behold, she, in another scene, there's more pastries um, and a little bit of beverage. But it just seems like they're very fixated on desserts, aren't they? Pretty flowers here. Here's one. I don't know. Maybe you do. What's going on with this painting? Do we know anything about that? The painting in the, uh, in the, in the dining room here? Would love to know more about that if you know. Uh, Gaston seems to have a double horse. I don't really like this one, so we'll skip fast. But they're saying because he has red pupils and nostrils, we don't want to have nightmares. <laughs> and on this one, this is cool. There's a man uh, stuck on the stone pillar on the right of the doorway. Now, some people, they asked for comments on this, and some people said they thought he's actually, this guy's actually flying through the air. Somebody said, no, he's in the lion's mouth. And then this guy we see tipped over here. Now, this could be a cannon. This could be a guillotine. But what do you think? Is he in the mouth? Is he flying? What's going on there? And people are like, well, what happened that he's there in the first place? Uh, but that's an interesting little note. And then here we move on to the last one, I believe. Yes. Uh, a golden swan to the very left of this frame at the end of the movie when they're having their beautiful dance. There we see the golden swan. Interesting. They're like, well, what is it? A wedding gift? What do you think? There's only one, and we'll double check on the um, film itself here, but only one that I could see, unless you know of more. There it is. We see it here. I don't see anything else going on swan wise, so maybe it was a nice little gift. I love this too, though, with the um, candelabras. You've got one here, which I think makes a heart. I don't know if that was intentional, but there we see one half, the other, uh, of the candelabras. Ah, And another pretty stained glass as we wrap up that window. So wasn't that fun? There were some really good ones here. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you agree with ones that they say here? If you know of more like this painting, definitely put them in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed. I love this one with the, with the kitty too and the little poo bear. So uh, thanks again for watching. And it's Diane Banks, um, voice actress and radio personality in Chicago. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks again for watching. And yes, definitely leave me your comments and take care. Talk to you soon.